Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. Um, my husband and I are going out to dinner with a group of, uh, with a couple of our friends and a group of their friends. Um, tonight is a state of origin game. So our friend Chris and Maddie um, invited us to go out with them um, to a restaurant here called Rache's because apparently they're doing a deal that if, um, if you purchase your food before a certain time or you place your order before a certain time and um and new south wales um win then you get your meal for free so um paul and i actually didn't have anything on tonight and so we agreed that we would go um the okay because we live in new south wales state of origin is you've got um queensland which are the maroons or from, if you're from America, the Maroons. Um, and you've got the Blues, which are from New South Wales. And State of Origin is like this huge, huge, huge rugby, um, rugby game that happens every year. And um, different players from all over Queensland and different players from all over New South Wales get together and they have this, um, I can't remember how many games are in the series. I think it's like I think it's like five or eight, maybe seven. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. We don't really follow um, a lot of sporting teams. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go out tonight and we're going to um, do something that we never do, which is go out on a Sunday night. And we're going to go watch the State of Origin game with a group of friends, um, maybe have a couple drinks, have some good food, and just hang out and really enjoy ourselves tonight. Um, if you've been watching my channel, um, I haven't mentioned this because I haven't uploaded any videos in the past um, week or so, but I have filmed, but um, I have been having a bit of a flare up. I've been suffering from it for a couple weeks now, actually. Um, and so um, it's something to do. It's <clears throat> it's a, a way to get out of the house, um, get my ass out of bed. Um, you know, yes, I have to take my pain medication in order to do so but you know it's it's a way not to watch telly all night um but i also have been um making some little stuffed animals for a couple of my friends their little babies so i just finished doing um some little toys for my friend laurel's new little girl and then um, i made one for my friend moira's little boy jack i made him a little monkey and uh, or no i made him a lion um, I call him a little monkey, um, cause he just, you know, he's climbs, 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 little monkey. And I made, um, three for my friend Laurel, but I'm not going to say what they are, um, on here because I want it to be a surprise. So when I get paid next week, I'm going to send them off to Laurel so that she can give them to her little girl. And I'm really excited for her to see them. So... <clears throat> I have been doing that, trying to keep myself um, relatively mentally active um, rather than, you know, because unfortunately I can't be physically active at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really excited for Laurel to um, get to see what I've done. So yeah, I'm just hoping that I can send them off next week and she'll get them within the next week or so. So yeah, pretty excited about that. I'm knocking over everything on my beauty desk and it's getting a little old so <clears throat> i've just used my new favorite my fenty foundation um i just used my ColourPop no filter concealer and set it with my astralis banana powder and for some reason tonight i'm looking very pale but i'll go ahead and warm my skin up with some bronzer perhaps maybe a bit of contouring um not really sure who we're actually meeting out. I don't know if we have met these people before or not. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty, pretty excited to go out. And I figured, you know, I'm going to do something um, blue themed because um, the New South Wales um, color is blue. And then obviously Queensland is maroon. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a cute little blue look, cute little blue moment and uh and see how we go so yeah 
don't really know how I'm going to do my eyes. I've got like some blue things, but not like a whole lot of blue. Um, the only thing that's got a lot of blue in it is like my Color Burst palette from Morphe. Um, I've got this Super Shock Shadow, but it's a dark blue and the, it's more of a, the color is more of a, the blues are um, more of like this color blue. So I don't want to go too dark with it, but at the same time, like you know, I want you to be able to see there is blue on my eyes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is to go into a nice um, nude palette. I'm gonna go into my Tartlet palette that I just picked up in Sydney. And I'm gonna go in with the color Best Friend, which is this really pretty um, purpley taupe color here. I don't know why I'm going in with a purpley taupe, but I am because I do what I want. And that's coming off a quite a bit darker than I had intended to but that's all right we're gonna cover it up with some blue here in a minute so I just got back from being at my friend Moira's house because I took her little boy um, who I talk about quite often on my channel um, I took him his little stuffed lion that I finished and um, what I did is they're called amigurumi it's a um, crocheted styled stuffed animal and um, I worked on it for three days straight so Friday I did a lot of um, a lot of um, I did the body and then I did the ears uh, you know I did the body the ears the legs the arms and the muzzle I did that all on Friday and then yesterday I put it all together and what it has is this little cap that you sew its mane into. So um, I was putting all that together yesterday and I put the mane on and everything. And I kid you not, I worked on that mane from about 10.30 in the morning until about 8 or 9, no, 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 6 at night just sewing in each individual hair. It took forever, but it is so cute. I'm so happy with the way it came out. I could not be happier. So I'm gonna go back in with another E2 brush. <clears throat> I'm gonna dip into my Color Burst palette. Um, it doesn't really have like a light blue like this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into with this shimmery blue here. And I'm just gonna start working that into my crease. And I made the mistake of putting that purple underneath it so it's changing the color from what I really, really wanted it to be, which is that vibrant blue. So I'm going to go with the, with the color right above it. See if I can wait. There we go. Wake that up a bit. Now I know I've already done one or two blue looks on my channel, but I've never done one for... Um, a sports team so it's a little different from what I would normally do I'm kind of gonna be really garish about this and like really um, blow it out and hopefully not embarrass the shit out of myself at this um, dinner because like I said I've never met um, I'm assuming never met the majority of the people that are gonna be there tonight so that should be interesting um, maybe they'll like subscribe to my channel if there's any girls or boys there that like to wear makeup and you know make an ass of myself and say I do YouTube on the side and you know they'll look at my makeup and go really why so there's always that you know trying to stay positive clearly I've got like the biggest frog in my throat I don't know if it's because it's been like really really cold outside lately like there has been frost in the mornings it is so cold but I love it I hate being hot I hate um I don't want to say I hate summer but it's not my favorite season I am much more of a cold weather girl I always have been even when I lived in Texas um loved 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 winter even though we never really got like a proper winter in Houston um, at least when I was living in Abilene um, we would get snow occasionally but it would get you know pretty cold but not anything like it does here in Canberra it gets downright frosty oh I'm gonna make an ass of myself tonight I can't believe I'm doing this I'm gonna look like somebody straight out of the 80s 
for real. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Super Shock Shadow. I'm gonna take that on my E1 brush from ColourPop. Now it's this color here, so it's quite a bit darker of a color than I would normally use, but I kind of want to deepen this up just a little bit, give it a little more dimension, and my cat just stepped right in my palette. That is what I get for leaving it open. Um, so I'm just going to start packing this on the outer corner, and hopefully these two play well together. Like, I wanted to do an all blue look, but then again, like, I still want this to be attractive <laughs> and my husband not to be embarrassed to be seen in public with me. But, you know, he loves me for me and everything that comes with me, so got pretty lucky there. And now that I've started this little, you know, venture into the world of YouTube, I think he's pretty damn supportive, actually. So that looks really pretty. I think that's really pretty. And I love the shift that these shadows give. They give such interesting shifts in them. So what am I gonna do now? That is the question. I wanna do something pretty light. Um, actually, I'm gonna look up and see if the blues are like white, blue and white, or if it's just blue on blue. All right, so it looks like it's just blue on blue. So it's a darker blue on a lighter blue with a bit of white in the accent. So what I think I'll do is I'm gonna go in, I kinda wanna cut this crease, but at the same time I don't. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this color Super Mum. And I'm going to place that on my lid. It's not, actually, no, I'm going to go back into the Color Burst palette and use the white that's in there. And it's a matte white. It's like a, I hope it's not a bone because that's going to suck. No, it is a pure white color. So it's this one up here in the top corner. So I'm going to take that. And I'm just going to pop that. So doing the darker blue wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> Winning. All right, that's cool again. I really wanted to go for an all blue, but at the same time, I don't want to look totally ridiculous. Hmm. Ain't too shabby. I probably should have cut the crease just to make that white pop a little more but I kind of like the effect it's giving. It is definitely blended, that's for sure. And I just lost some of that darker blue. So I'm gonna even it up on both sides and then go back in with the Super Shock Shadow. Oh, that's kind of a fun little, see what I've done there? I've kind of cut like a a little triangle in the eye. All right, so I think what I might actually do is spray a bit of Fix Plus and try and get that white to really stand out. See if I can do that. Fingers crossed. Nope, didn't really do much. Let me try a different brush. Spray some Fix Plus on my E4 brush from, I have to spray my hand first, with my um, Fix Plus on my E4 brush from ColourPop, which is like a flat concealer brush almost. I'm just going to pack that white in here. That's not working at all. That's a letdown. I really should have cut my crease, but I'm not that smart. I think that's what I'm going to have to end up doing because this is just not working at all. Maybe I used too much Fix Plus on the brush. Let me try drying it off because see, it's just started doing this really wonky thing. That's unfortunate. All right, cutting the crease. I have mirrors freaking everywhere. I keep forgetting. 
Okay, so I have cut my crease. Huzzah. Now I'm going to go back in with that flat-headed brush, if I can find it. What did I do with it? I'm uh, going to go back in with that, um, the original brush, the E1. And I'm going to set it over the top of that concealer. It is not doing what I want it to do at all. Really disappointed right now. Because I wanted this white to be like super stark white, but it's not even close. Not even a little bit. I'm just going to keep packing it on and praying for the best. Yeah, it's not doing what I want it to do, but it's still kind of a cool effect, really. I'm going to close my mirror so you can't. But that's kind of a fun little effect there. All right, I'm going to try and do a little bit of detail work. Um, kind of blow out that blue above a bit. Soften that edge ever so slightly. Bring that blue down into the corner of my nose. Not that I think this is going to happen, but how awkward would it be if I showed up with all this blue on my face and then everybody was like, uh, we like the maroons. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that original color down underneath my waterline and go back into that original shimmer shade as well, just to give it a little bit of zhuzh underneath. And then go back in with the not-so-white white and pack that on my inner corner. And then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Peacock and I'm going to line my waterline because you can never have enough blue. Pretty sure I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I love blue on my eyes. Um, on my top lid, our top line, I'm going to do my 24-7 waterline from Urban Decay. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, this is so freaking um, blown out, I think is the word I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to go into my Fame palette, and I'm just going to pack the color, which is Showboat, which is this one here. I'm just going to pack that underneath my um, eyebrow. Ooh. Oh, shit. Can you see that? That is insane. And I think I'm going to pop a little bit of that on my inner corner as well. Just on top of that white. Just to zhuzh it up a little more. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. Sweet. All right, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my face real quick off camera because once you've seen somebody contour once, you've seen it a thousand times. Um, but actually, it's it's more of a bronze, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm still using the Master Contour Palette from Maybelline. All right, there we go. Some color back in the cheeks. All right, so next, I don't want to do a shimmery, sh a shimmery blush. So I'm going to go back in with... Melba from MAC. It's this really pretty peachy, peachy, peachy blush shade. All right, I'm going to do my eyebrows and my mascara off camera, and then we'll come back to finish the face off. Okay, guys, so mascara and eyebrows are done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this blue highlighter, which is Poolside from Rihanna. This is the kilowatt highlighter. I am going to go in... Oh, it's a purple, but that's all right. It's got like that blue shift to it. So I'm really going to ham it up today. I would never normally wear this much highlighter, but I think it does a really pretty effect on here. So I'm going to really ham it up. Oh, God, this looks like a terrible cast on my face. Uh, texture, here we come. But hey, makeup's all about fun, so if you can't have fun, then what the hell's the point? I actually never really thought that I would ever wear this color on its own, just because it's really, like, not a color that, you know, daily color so much. Um, but I think it's going to give this look like something a little 
extra some some if you know what I'm saying so there we go all right I'm looking very ice queeny um I told you I was going in on the highlighter and I'm not joking I think I might I might take this down just a little bit try and kind of buff this out just a tiny bit because I really it's it's a lot for me and um i feel a little cartoonish so i'm gonna do uh as jeffree star says and kind of veil this with my powder brush and it's not helping so we're just gonna be looking a little crazy today now to make it even more insane i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty um what are these called summer nights god lip gloss and it's in the color mermaid thighs because it's again blue and i'm trying to represent for new south wales so i'm going to go in with my vanilla sky nude lip liner and to be honest i was half tempted to actually go in and use a blue eyeliner on my lips but then i was like okay alexis that's enough's enough really you've got to stop somewhere I don't know why, but for some reason, like, I am having the hardest time keeping things, like, actually inside my lips. And it's really annoying. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, guys. So, this is my final look. This is for the state of origin. Go New South Wales. Um, hopefully, you liked this video. I had a lot of fun making it. This is definitely something that I have never done before, but is super fun. I really, really like all the blue. Um, I went a bit ham. I... I know that because if it helps New South Wales win, then I will do what I can to support my boys and get a free meal out of it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>